first of all, yeah, next steps, uh, we definitely need to go to Venus and investigate this environment um, and see what's going on there. I don't think bringing a sample back is the next logical step. We may want to do that in the future if, uh, you know, if the mystery persists, but I think it's much easier to send instruments to Venus and do an entry probe or a balloon or something that's going to explore that environment and just bring the right analytical equipment to see what the atmosphere is really made out of there. Is the phosphine real? What else is there in association with the phosphine? What are uh, the trace um, elements in the clouds? And are there any weird structures in the clouds that could be biological? That Those kind of investigations you could do with uh, a spacecraft at Venus. I think bringing a sample back is difficult uh, because I uh, think about it. It's not like grabbing a rock, grabbing some cloud. You, it's very hard to imagine bringing it back in a sort of a pristine, undisturbed state. And maybe that's okay because whatever you brought back would be the remnants of what had been there, and you could still analyze it. But I don't think a sample return is the obvious next step. Now you ask a question: Would it possibly be dangerous? Um, you know, with this question of planetary protection, you always have to be cautious because you don't want to make a mistake and, you know, bring something back that's going to be dangerous. My first thought, though, is that it's very unlikely if something is adapted to live in the clouds of Venus, it's unlikely that it could survive in the wild on Earth because it's a pretty different kind of environment. You know, it's extremely acidic. And while there are acid loving environments on Earth where are acid loving organisms on Earth, they they would not survive if you just point them down at some random place on earth. And so um, if this mystery persists and we start to really think um, that there's something there that we want to investigate more closely and the best way to investigate it is to bring some back to earth, I think there would be a way to do that very safely. It doesn't strike me as the kind of thing that is going to uh, very easily sort of start running wild and uh, eating everything on earth.